It's time for Update Monday. The final battle of 2012 is over, another Gosu Cup America comes to a conclusion, and Dota 2 gets frosty. Your first pick for Dota 2 news, I'm What Is Hip, it's the 17th of December, and this is Around the Fountain. The holidays are near, and with it, Dota 2 becomes covered in snow. Frostivus was announced by Valve to be coming in this week's update, though scarce on details beyond some figurative lines. Cyborg Matt's analysis says there will be Greevils, and that probably means items in the new holiday mode. Man, I hope there will be a way to win a frozen Roshan? I guess. We'll have to see later this week. The Dota store will also be full of new holiday items, as well as the Polycount winners. Speaking of the Polycount contest, here is the winner of the whole shebang, the Rider of the Storm for Disruptor. This sexy set includes a whole new mount and a brand new styling for the armor, weapons, and even an eye patch. No word on when it will be available or how much it will cost, but I'm throwing my money at the screen in hopes that it comes sooner. And that mount, I mean, wow. There's a new roster for Gamer University. Arctic Gaming, a Peruvian team, has been picked up by the sponsor. Here's a statement from the captains, MSTCO and Nova. We're very pleased to represent Gamer University in the Dota 2 scene and excited to prove ourselves of this sponsorship. Getting sponsored is new to us all, but we're looking forward to the amount of practice over the summer and see how far we can go. The main reason for teaming up with GU is to get recognized among the top teams to improve our practice. We aim to progress in various tournaments over the summer and hope that Gamers University can aid us along the way. The newest balance patch is released for Dota 1, 6.77. Some of the highlights include a nerf on Drought True Shot Aura to only affect non-hero units with a 900 radius. The aura is still global for heroes. A reduction of the strength of Centaur and clearly in a sign of the end of days, yep that's on Friday, Doombringer gets plus one armor. You can check out the full changelog over at PlayDota.com. You can expect this changelog to hit the Dota 2 client sometime over the next week. If all goes according to Valve's plan, generally the parity patches are implemented in that time span. The Asus final battle of the year is over and we have a winner. Topping the group stages were Virtus Pro and Team Empire, both with undefeated records sending them straight to the semis. Following closely behind were Navi, Devil Mice, as well as Illuminate and WP. Navi and WP pushed forward to face our top contenders, but could not topple them, leaving VP and Empire yet again undefeated. In the finals, Team Empire were the team to hold on to their score with a 2-0 claiming the $6,000 prize. Virtus Pro took home $3,000 in second, and Navi beat WP for third place and $2,500. The VODs for this tournament are available over on Shiver's YouTube. The second installment of the Gosu Cup America comes to a conclusion, and Gratz, though, are the victors walking away with $500 and a hardware pack from Rocket. The roster of Gratz, though, is comprised of some of the best North American players that aren't on a sponsored team. Slizel, RTZ, fans of Soyan, Broccoli, and Goody. On the way to the finals, they defeated Root Gaming and Fnatic NA, overcoming Lust's team in the finals. They won 2-0. The VODs are available over on Neo Dota's YouTube following Gratz, and on my Twitch channel following Lust's team up to and including the finals. In what might be the last Dota 1 tournament, SMM concludes and we have a Pinoy victor. Without dropping a game, Pacific Emacs are the victors. They're going to win a cool $18,000 they win over iZone.Gigabyte, who go home with $8,000. Mineski, Dreams, and Invasion are all right behind them taking home a bit of money for themselves as well. Now this was a great send off for Dota 2 as Join Dota covered the event with Toby Wan as well as Gosu Gamer's very own gods. You can check out the VODs over at JoinDota.com. In last week's poll I asked about the touchier subject in esports, spoilers. You guys answered the question, do you think spoilers should be present on esports community and news sites such as Reddit, GoToGamers.net, and Join Dota? 38% answered no, I don't want to accidentally find out results. 62% answered yes, make it the headlines, why not prominently feature the current tournaments? This week's question, what type of game modes would you like to see added to Dota 2? A. More like Dire Tide with lots of items. B. Something competitive and more permanent to go alongside the actual game. C. Bring all the modes and options from Dota 1, like Same Hero and Only Mid. D. Pudge Wars! Well, that's it from me. 
for weekly updates, please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on Friday as long as we aren't all dead. Special thanks to Coco Stern and Darius, who have been helping me a ton with the show and are unfortunately not yet in the credits.